Good evening folks and welcome to another video. Right, well what I'm going to do tonight, uh, I've got this uh, I've got this Sega Mega Drive and uh, basically what it, I'll show you what it does. The picture's a bit crap but it's going through the RF and it's cr I've just got a wire shoved in the aerial socket because I can't find a connection because I don't really do much of it as Jay said when he gave me a mention. I don't really, I'm not really interested that much in this side but Basically, this is a freebie, and uh, my daughter had this idea that electronics was easy, so she decided to pick on game consoles anyway. Uh, she bought three. She bought this one. Stay in my fucking hair. I fucking combed it earlier. I watched it. Look at that big ball patch on the top there. I'll tell you, that's on the top and not on the front. Just spread these hairs out a bit. Make it look like I've got a bit more at the front. Make it look like I've got... I went to the barber's once. She says, what would you like doing with the fringe? I says, are you taking the piss? <laughs> anyway. So, I ain't got a fucking fringe. I haven't had a fringe, had a fringe since I was about 30. Anyway. <laughs> Any, well, 40 actually. Anyway. So, she so anyway, basically, she thought it was easy to do this kind of thing. So she purchased this, and she also purchased a Atari 2600. Uh, that's the one that Jay saw creep into one of my videos. Anyway, you're about to see another one, Jay. Uh, this is a Sega Mega Drive uh, Mark 1, I believe. Uh, I'll show you what this machine actually does. What we'll do, we'll plop the cartridge in. Cartridge in. Right. I've cleaned all the pins and everything by the way. I've done all that so I don't have to waste my time showing you like that I've done it. I've cleaned the pins and I know the game's okay. Right. There we go. Sounds okay. If I unwrap this, I can select the game. I can select the game. But as you can see, yeah, as you can see, the graphics are all corrupt. Uh, and that's what the issue is with it. And You know, if I jiggle that lead, I, I, I do get a somewhat, hang on a minute, I've got them disturbed it now. I do get a somewhat clearer picture. Let's put, let's put, let's put this back in. Fucking hell, there we are. Stay there. Right, that'll do. You can see what it's doing. It's. So turn it off, pull the cartridge out. And we just get a blank screen with the cartridge out. So. Right, shift that remote control, that's for me telly. For me telly over there, my monitor. Excuse the fact that my shirt's too short, folks. You're going to get a glimpse of my belly every now and again. Anyway, let's try another game. I've got another game here. This is a Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Put that one in. There you go. Oh, 
as you can see. Two cartridges, I don't think it's the cartridges. Anyway, so what we're going to do, uh, what I'm actually doing, I'm, pow I'm powering this. I'm actually powering this off my bench supply, which is here. I've got it set to 9 volts, and that's what I'm using to power it. I use that to power everything, because it's regulated, and it's good, and it's, well, expensive in its day, and it does the job. And I used to use it for my ham radio setup, but I don't anymore, so... Let me just get the screws out. Try to keep the video as short as possible. Right, we're back. Now, yeah. it's the volume control. It's the on off down there. It's a reset there. And that just had an LED going through it. A cheap, shitty way of doing it. Now, now the idea is to take all this shielding off. And it's t I did actually make a mistake, folks. It's, uh, it's 10 volts that goes into the Mega Drive, not 9. Uh, well, let's see about getting all this fucking shielding off. Screws all the fucking same. Screwdriver is supposed to be magnetic. My yeah, hair's fucking itchy because I've been out with the dog in the rain. I need to get make myself a brood in a minute and just get a spout first. See? I don't do much on the computer side of things. I'm not really into it. Uh, you know, unless it's a, unless it's a simple fault. Which I, this probably won't be, I've got a feeling it's probably the graphics chip. I'm going to make myself a brew shortly. Get these screws out. If anybody has an idea of what this is, then let me know. I'd be most interested to find out. There's a screw at the top there, I'm going to undo that because I've got a feeling it's going to have to come out at some point. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. hell. Together with some Chinese, Chinese spunk. There we go. Now, right, we're in. Yeah. Right. And what I'm going to do to start with, I haven't got a clue what any of this stuff is. I'll be perfectly honest with you because I'm not really. Uh, I've got a feeling this big fucker here is a processor. Um, although I could be wrong. But what I'm going to do... I'm not going to... That's... They're regulators. They're, they'll be regulators. And there's a chip under there and then you've got your RF unit and there's millions of electrolytic capacitors look at that lot 
fucking millions of electricity. Let's zoom in. Fucking millions of electrolytics in it. All in that one side. There we go. Look at that, folks. All that on one side and all underneath this heat sink. Right, so let's zoom back out. Make myself a brew in a minute, there we go. Just to a point where you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the push test. I'm going to plug it back in. I'm going to plug it back in. Oh. I'm going to... Plug it back in, and I don't know whether I don't know whether it's going to be on or not because this lead's a bit dodgy. But let's just unplug that from the power supply in a minute. Because I can't remember which way is on or off. And the LED is disconnected. On that way. Right. Make sure that doesn't hit anything. No, nothing that nothing doing there. Now there's a chip under there. I'm not testing on them fucking electrolytics. They're all fucking night. Wish I knew which we wish I knew what these chips did. I just feel the way around. You don't know, do you? Put my glasses on. I've got a feeling it probably will get scrapped this, but... I thought it was bulged up, it's not.
just trying to find something that's getting hot. But then again, it's doing it from cold, so it doesn't fucking matter. Right. That Motorola chip there's processor. And I think this fucker here is graphics. I'm not sure, but I think there's a big fucker here. I think that's graphics. But that's sound. And there's a little op amp behind that. Looks like an op amp. See, we're working, so I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident that we've got voltage on those two chips, those two ICs and on the heat sink there. But you never fucking know, do you? That's good, isn't it? Can't see me fucking meet up from there. Nine volts. And five volts coming out of that one. Nine. And five coming out of that. So we've got nine going in. Well, I've got ten going in here. Yeah. 10 volts. Uh, make me so, uh, that plug's dodgy as well. Alright, uh, plug that back in. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put on pause a minute folks, I'm going to make myself a brew and see what we can make of this. It probably end up getting scrapped, it probably end up being chucked. Though if anybody's got a use for it, if I can't mend it I won't destroy it, if anyone's got a use I won't actually mess with it. I'll leave it as it is and if somebody's got a use for it, then they're welcome to it, it costs me nothing. Right, I'll put on pause a minute. I'll go make a brew. So what we're looking at is the Sega Mega Drive. Hmm. 
I've just done myself a fresh cup of coffee and where's my glasses gone? Got them. Sun in my eye. There we go. Right. Well basically I can't get to the scope because that monitor's in the way. Uh, to be honest, I'll be perfectly honest with you folks. There's not really. I'm just looking to so see if anything's leaked. I mean, I mean, we've got fuses here, but they won't be blown. They'll be all right. They won't have gone. Can't see why they would go. Besides, the machine wouldn't work if they were gone. Well, I don't think it would display that kind of a fault. There's even fuses there on the controllers. So in case you short the controllers, you blow the fuses and don't wreck the whole damn thing. So this chip here must deal with the controllers. This here's got to be memory. Uh, I'm working this out as I go along and I'm certain that's a graphics chip. Right, so that there I think is the processor, that Motorola chip. Which is a, a 68000P, uh, thereabouts, yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's got to be a processor. This has got to be, this is memory here, I'm sure of it. Uh, I think this is memory. <coughs> This I think is graphics. No, I don't know what that one is. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to get one of my plastic tools out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to run round. I'm going to run round the pins. You never know, it could be a dry joint. But I'm just going to run around the pins there and check if there's any loose ones. See, that could be the graphics chip under there. I don't know what this one does and I don't know what that one does. But they're uh, custom Sega chips anyway. I'm 
lasagne o un dono o lasagne o un dos and that's the xylog there that could be processor that could be processor xylog z z z z z what z o a four can't read all of it yeah that could be processor So you, at the end of the day, I don't know what it is, and I don't mind owning up. And to be honest, if I found a fault on this, it would only it would only be by chance anyway. If I found a fault, it would only be by chance. I mean, <coughs> what could I salvage out of it? Nothing really. I wouldn't want the caps because they're too old. Not a bit of two regulator. Uh, the only thing that's in there for me is on two regulators. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, folks. I said I, I, I thought I'd have a look at it just for a laugh. Let's just turn the voltage up a bit. Yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it because uh, it's, uh, and it's not to do it down there, I've cleaned all that, I've cleaned all that. all clean in there it's all clean as now when people say blowing the number works I believe that one I see it
See everything's running, it's just the graphics are all corrupt. Well that's it folks, I'm not going to mess with it, turn the power supply off. <clears throat> I'm not, I'm not going to go any further with it I'm afraid because uh, um, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really do computer related uh, devices. I just thought I would actually have a look because it was free and it's there so you know I just thought I'd have a look and Without any circuit information or any form of information. I mean, if this was, if this had valves in it, I'd stand a chance of getting it working. But, uh, I mean, I can repair some computer related stuff, don't get me wrong, but, you know, this is, in all honesty, folks, this is not my bag, it's not what I do, so, you know, what I'll do, I'll put this back together. Uh, in a fashion it's become accustomed to and uh, if anybody wants it let me know and you know yeah I'll donate it to somebody for spares or somebody who can get it working and do something with or shit really anyway uh, I'm not fucking about putting it back together now. I'll put it back together later, or tomorrow. I'm gonna have a cup of coffee and chill. Anyway, uh, this is a fail. I never thought I'd ever put a fail video up, but it has to be done. It has to. We all have to do it at at least one point in our lives. Uh, this is a fail. It's something that I can't mend. So, you know, but. Uh, it's not my thing this anyway so at the end of the day who cares it was free and it was worth having a quick look at and I don't know what all the chips do as I say I suspect either that or that is the processor I think that's processor uh, and there's a Zilog one there uh, but the Zilog made processor so that could be the processor I don't know uh, that's definitely a sound chip because it's got a Yamaha stamped on it. Um, the graphics chip is either this one or this one tucked under here. Uh, this could be a UAL of some, you know. Uh, it could be some sort of like, uh, I don't know. And this Sanyol one, I don't know what the Sanyol one is. I ain't got a clue. And this one is for the controllers. I'm pretty sure these two are in memory. Uh, these two here that are stood up. Just in front of these. In case, I think they're video buffer. But uh, offhand. Without looking and without checking. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure. That. Uh, yeah. And I don't know what this fucker here is. It's, it's a custom. These two here. A custom uh, Sega chips. 
So they'll 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 be uh, specifically for the control of this machine. Probably the cartridge port. They're they're probably related to here. <coughs> or they they might contain the system. This might contain the system firmware because there will be firmware on it. I don't know. Anyway, turn my telly off. There we go. That can be put back in the other room later. And I'm sorry on this one, folks, but it's a fail. And as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. And more to come later. Obviously, something all revolves in it. Bye for now, folks.